Namaste and welcome to the second part in uh, the interview series with Professor Kapil Kapoorji. And as you know, we covered about his childhood and his uh, starting of his profession as a as a professor. And today we'll take that further. So welcome, Professor Kapoorji, once again. Namaskar. And as he says that he's back again as a bad dream. When a teacher in the teacher mode. And when you talk in the teacher mode, uh, serious and uh, trying to be profound without being profound, you know, it's it's almost like uh, uh, a, a deja vu, you know, for the people. The people who listen to you, for them it's something that they have already heard. heard. So that way, a bad dream has a regularity, good dreams are rare. <laughs> In life also, hmm? dealing with some uh, current uh, issues, current problems. Uh, the government has set up a, a committee, uh, as they say, high powered committee. Hmm? This is about Bharatiya Bhasha Samviti. This is the name Bharatiya Bhasha, Indian languages. And the chief concern of this uh, Samiti is to show unity of Indian languages, the, that the Indian languages as a whole, they are all, they all share so many things, show so many things. Now this arises from the fact that, uh, as you know, the census sometimes says there are 1476 languages. Sometimes they say 1526 languages. And in the, in the rough drafts of the census, where, you know, odd people name their local language, hmm? local language. Because I speak Kaurvi. Now, Kaurvi is a country of the country. There are three names of local dialects. When they are counted, they come to 19,000. Now, as you know, our constitution makers, being the product of the same education as you and I, you know, educated, educated people. Educated people in India means English educated. You remember uh, Anand Kumaraswamy, he said educated Indians, and then he gave a footnote. This is how the victims of Indian education are described. Hmm? Educated Indians, this is how the victims of Indian education are described. Now, the, this set of people, this, this set of English educated people, they are less than 10%. But they, you and I belong to that. But they are the ruling class. We are the ruling class. And we are the direct descendants, great grandchildren of Lord Macaulay. 1835 English Education Act, where one page document. It was a it was a one page education policy document. Uh, as an aside, I must tell you. In 75 years, we have at least five education commissions and we have written almost 7,000 pages on education policy without writing a single word on policy. All instrumentalities. This starts by saying what kind of people we want to produce by our education. People who look Indian, who are Indian in looks, appearance, okay. but in their opinions, values, morals, and intellect are British. So as you know, when I am serious, I am thinking of some jokes. So I said, those people who don't eat samosa will eat burger. In their opinions, 
values, morals and intellect. How will we produce them? We will not teach them in their languages. This was the assassination of Indian languages. In that single clause, the Indian languages were assassinated. In what language will we teach them? Some international language. And which is more international than English? So through English. And we will not teach. And what, what, what books will we teach? Not Sanskrit and Persian Granthas, but Western literature, English literature. The one shelf of English literature is equal to the entire body of Sanskrit and Persian literature. You know? So we will And the money we spend on the school, on the on the tolls, patshalas, madrasas. We will stop. Money we are spending on publishing Sanskrit Persian books, we will stop. And we will use all the money to disseminate English language. Very clear. Because they wanted to produce, huh, they say, we want to produce interpreters. Interpreters between us, the British rulers, and the people. Interpreters ka matlab hai Hindi mein dalal. You know, jo hamari taraf se baat karenge logon ko. So, ye to unka education tha. This is the background and for 135, 65, 65, 165 and 22, almost 187 years, we have been, our education has been based on this. We have not changed anything, not changed anything. When the constitution makers, you know, they made this, wrote the constitution, they were also educated Indians like us. So they were very worried by worried by 19,000 languages, 1,500 languages, because they had read in their, in their undergraduate, postgraduate days, Garner and Gilchrist on political science, and they had read that a nation has one language, one ethnicity, one religion. So they were very worried India is not a nation. What a loss. Instead of thinking that the definition which comes from Europe and that also post Bismarck Europe, because during the Austro Hungarian Empire, there were no nations in Europe also. Austro-Hungarian Empire, Bismarck Empire tha. But jab wo tuta, 1881, mein, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Norway, Sweden, Germany, France, one language, one religion, one ethnicity. Hmm? So our educated uh, constitution makers, so they set about making India a nation. Unki problem thi, Indian nation hi nahi hai. Uh, sadly, they had not read Vishnu Puran. And more sadly, Kapil Kapoor was not a member of the Constituent Assembly. Hmm? Only in 2016, I was asked to write a language report where I said, where I, you know, I mean, sort of exposed the uh, illogic, illogicity of this whole assumption that uh, one nation, one language, one this and this and that. And the result, everybody sees, you know, they tried to make one language, Hindi, Hindi banadi, because that political movement, Gandhian movement in the UP mein tha, to Hindi banadi. Once, five, seven years, nobody noticed. And then suddenly the southern people noticed. And they burnt a few buses and threw stones. Then they made English the associate language. When English was made the associate language, then the Kannad people, Marathi people said, our languages have history older than English. A literature as rich, 
why not us? Then they made Schedule 8. There were 12 languages. 12 languages. Today there are 22 and 37 applications are waiting. Mm -hmm. Then different states, they made their own languages. Five northeastern states, they made English their state language. So you know, the whole confusion. And then they made language states, states, mm -hmm. linguistic mm -hmm. states. The India never, I mean, nowhere in the, looking at the Germany, German and French and all that, they made linguistic states. But in India, we never had linguistic states. In fact, language never figured in Indian polity. Ab ye sab ho gaya. Ab ye suddenly, ye jo linguistic chauvinism, it was started by the constitution. Pahle to thi nahi. अब उसमें क्या है लिंग्विस्टिक शवनिज्म में आते आते यू नो तमिल पीपल तमिल पीपल दे आर इन ए वे दे आर इन ए वे वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिस्टिंग्विश्ड सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी एंड हिस्ट्री बिकॉज़ दे आर द ओनली एंपायर बिल्डर्स पूरा साउथ एशिया का है ना पूरा साउथ एशिया बट दे डिडंट बिल्ड एन एंपायर they were not imperialists. The South Asian Chola Pura Jotha Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. Ye, ye empire, military empire nahi tha, militarily. Ye settlement or migration or trade. Trade. Settlement, migration and trade. And they were not imperialists. They did not interfere with the local you know, customs and all that and you can, so much so that uh, voluntarily, in a way, the Indian culture permeated this area. So, Tamil have a consciousness of their past, strong consciousness. You know? And they have a very really kind of pride. But the entire Indian polity Indian polity, particularly in the last few years, whenever a particular kind of government comes, it all talks, starts talking about Sanskrit, Hindi, Sanskrit, Hindi, Hindi as the official language and three language formula, Hindi, Tamil Nadu, you know, does not teach Hindi formally because you impose, you impose Hindi. Northeastern people, they say, you talk of English imperialism, we talk of Hindi imperialism. So the linguistic conflicts, they are what Shekhar Gupta in a recent article, he said in the next 24 election, if we want to defeat Modi, we have to divide the voter along three lines. <laughs> As my friend Gil Saab used to say, India may corruption very honest. Hai. India is honestly corrupt. But Nigeria may Dusri Jage Pesabi Lelete or Kambini Gate. dishonest corruption. Hai. So we are honestly corrupt people. <laughs> you see, क्या बढ़िया आइडिया तो उन्होंने ये जो ये जो शुरू होता है एंड इसी आप तो तमिल इफ तमिलनाडु की गवर्नमेंट प्रोटेस्ट एंड से के अवर लैंग्वेजेस ओल्डर एज ओल्ड अवर कल्चर इज एज ओल्ड एंड वी हैव हैड एंपायर्स व्हिच वर मच मोर लॉन्ग लास्टिंग देन योर टुया यू कीप टॉकिंग ऑफ मुगल्स ये भी तो इनकी फेलियर है ना they don't talk of the Mauryans. They don't talk of the Gupta Empire. The Mauryans ruled for 350 years. Gupta Empire for 400 years. They talk of Great Mughals. Great Mughals, 1526 to 1707. They are great. They are great. I mean, they, they, they put a tax on you because of your religion. And you know, wherever you go, Orange Road, Flana Road, Flana Road, Orange Road, Akbar, Jahangir, 
you don't have uh, a, a chalukya road a, cha, cho, a chora road a pandya road or veer pandya or pulkeshani second there were great kings pulkeshani pulkeshani two of the rashtrakutas he defeated the magadhan empire in battle and the early chalukyas and the later Chalu later chalukyas ruled right up to you know the borders of afghanistan chalukyan kingdoms अब बात ही नहीं करते तो मैंने कहा आप ये ये गलत ये भाषा समिति बना के कमेटी बना के सेमिनार करके कुछ नहीं होने जाने वाला पॉइंट यू फोकस प्रॉब्लम योर प्रॉब्लम इज के तमिल पीपल आर वेरी अनहैप्पी एंड फॉर गुड रीजन सो यू ओन अप यू ओन अप यू टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स सो दे डो नॉट टू टॉक एंड द होल मैटर विल डिजॉल्व but you have to you have to do things and then i said okay, instead of uh, okay, all languages are a family all languages are the same that's not that you have to say that the tamil tamil bhakti poetry tamil bhakti poetry is unique, unique in the country there is no prolonged bhakti movement in india like the tamil bhakti movement is it to wo nahi hai तो उनको ये बताया एंड देन आई सेट दैट यू मस्ट टॉक अबाउट देयर एम्पायर्स एंड दोज एम्पायर्स आर नॉट एम्पायर्स विच आर बाय फोर्स ऑफ आर्म्स बट दे आर एम्पायर्स विच आर बिट बाय फर्स्ट बाय ट्रेड एंड सेटलमेंट एंड देन बाय आइडियाज कल्चर कल्चर क्या है ना आई मीन इफ इफ इन वियतनाम विच वॉज कॉल्ड इन दोज डेज चंपा चंपा इन वियतनाम यू स्टिल हैव ट्वेंटी वन शिवा टेम्पल्स टेम्पल है वहाँ तो कल्चर से ये सारा एंड द लार्जेस्ट हिंदू टेम्पल इन दर्ल्ड इज इन कम्बोडिया कांकोरवाथ इट इज देयर सो आई सजेस्टेड दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ चेजिंग शिमेराज यू नो मृग तृष्णा की तरह भागना ये सो टू मच इंटेलेक्चुअलिज्म जो है कि सारी लैंग्वेज एक हैं एक कॉमन हैं सब भाई भाई हैं मैंने कहा परिवार कौन सा परिवार आपको तो आपको तो कुत्ते को घर में रखते हैं पेरेंट्स को नहीं रखते एक तमिल लैंग्वेज व्हाट तमिल लैंग्वेज हैज डन फॉर इंडियन कल्चर इट इनिशिएटेड द भक्ति मूवमेंट इट इनिशिएटेड द ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ एपिक्स एंड अदर ग्रंथाज इन तमिल इट इनिशिएटेड vernacularization vernacularization 11th century 10th century onwards you see remember by 990 by 704 you had sindh under the under the muslims and north you know the 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 muslim incursions were frequent they were not able to establish a kingdom till 990 but they were repeatedly coming in with the taxila was destroyed in the 8th century Seventh, eighth century, Texas was destroyed. So your universities, your institutions, which were which were teaching, propagating Vedic knowledge, they were all destroyed in the north, in the north. So the Sanskrit language, which at one time was widely understood, the institutions were shut up now. The the intelligibility of Sanskrit then became less. People now didn't understand Sanskrit. so they became they the knowledge became inaccessible then the, some wise great devoted indians huh, they thought of translating those into local languages lok bhasha lok bhasha language of the people and the first man to do it was a tamil kamban kamban translated i did translate see see the choice he translated a core text वाल्मीकि रामायण एंड द एंटायर वैष्णव मूवमेंट जो आलवार पोइट्स हैं इस राम भक्ति है मैंने उनको एक और सब्जेक्ट बताया त्याग राजा टू सुब्रमण्य भारती हैं राम भक्ति टू देश भक्ति जी करो ना एक इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस करो यहाँ और तमिल से बुलाओ एंड आई टोल्ड दैम बाई एग्जाम्पल यू नो इन इन इंडियन एडवांस स्टडी शिमला where lot of time was spent in conflict but before the cause of conflict came 
uh, we had taken certain initiatives. I did a conference on the two Tamil epics, you know, Chilapati Garam and Mani Mekhle. And I invited five, search karke, five Tamil scholars. And it was a five-day workshop. Those five scholars, they lectured and all the fellows listened. And I told him, the chairman of the committee, do you know the impact? In all Tamil newspapers in Tamil Nadu, it made headlines that the a National Institute has recognized our epics. Our epics. See, yeah, this is this is what they were missing. They are missing. You know? I recognized our epics. And I invited one 85-year-old Tamil scholar. He is himself Telugu. But Sanskrit. <laughs> you know, I told them. He said, after all, for example, Ashtadhyayi is the great Sanskrit grammar. I said, who told you? Ashtadhyayi is not a Sanskrit grammar. Panini does not say, I am writing grammar of Sanskrit. Patanjali, who wrote a great commentary in the 3rd century, 2nd century BC, Mahabharsha, he doesn't say it's a grammar of Sanskrit. Panini says, this is bhasha ki grammar, bhasha. Or chandas, the spoken language and the compositional language. Or Patanjali usme kehta hai, ke shabda anushasanam, Panini ka vyakarana shabd anushasanam, shabdon ka anushasan. Kim shabda? Ek usme mand buddhi chhatra hai na. Bode wo basic question poochta. Kim shabda? He say, he say, lauki ka naam, vaidhi ka naam chai. Lauki ka aur vaidhi ka. Samjha gai sanskrit? Ye sanskrit hai. Kya sanskrit? Aap koji samjha gai? Sab ko samjha gai? Lauki ka naam chai? Huh? That means he was writing grammar of the spoken language. That is why Sandhi is such a big part of Panini grammar. Sandhi is in this speech. Mein hai. Sandhi is in English. Mein bhi hoti hai. Jaise main kahun, I saw a lamp post. Alag, alag. Baise mein bolunga, I saw a lamp post. I saw I saw a lamp post. I saw a lamp post. Lamp post. Lamp post ho gaya na? Lamp post ka. Ye sandhi hai. Ye sandhi wahan bhi hoti hai. Par wahan pani nahi nahi hua na? Usme itna complicated phenomenon unko samjhi nahi aaya. Kaise describe karna hai? <laughs> but it's a gram. It's a, so the people who argue Sanskrit was never a spoken language, they should be ashamed of their intellect. I mean, the whole, the grammar is full of Sandhi, which takes place in speech. And this is not a spoken language. Anyways, so I said, it's a bhasha, bhasha ka So this is like a Tyagaraja, Ram Bhakti to this. Then I said, it is Tamil, where for the first time, your translation from Sanskrit took place. And it is Tamil, where for the first time, the Bhakti movement started. In Tamil poetry, Andal. And you show how that Bhakti movement influence went around India. So this is something, it is a fact. And also I said that your Hinduism to koi term in hai, 200 saal pehle ki hai. Sanatana dharma jo hai aapka, uski, uska darshan, uski, uska, uske art, kalayen, uska sangeet, hai na? Uska dance, uski folk forms, sari Tamil Nadu mein intact hai. Architecture, maha intact hai, aur kahi hai nahi. So in fact, that should be your first state. Hai na? Aur agar aapko do languages banani hi thi, to aap banate, aap Hindi aur Tamil banate te. Kya fark padta hai? Ab bol to banate hi kuch nahi. Ye sari languages barabar hai. I mean, you know, people, they are afraid, even now, that if we, my, my report said 
make state languages the medium of education. All state languages. Bengali mein Bangla, Malayalam, Tamil, Kannad, Sara, state languages. But they are scared. Kyun? Kyunke wo educated hai na? Ke nation mein to ek language hoti hai. You know, there are uh, Purusharthas, four, four ends of life, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. And he said that Bombay, Mumbai is the Earth Nagri. You know? Delhi is the Kama Nagri. Chennai is Dharma Nagri. Kapalishwar Temple is a Purana temple in India. Mein nahi hai. Kabhi aapne suna hai, ka, yahan baithe, baithe, tum, ka, aap to Telugu ho. Aapko to bolna chahiye. Main to Ambarsar ka Punjabi bol raha hoon baitha hua. Mujhe pata hai ke kya hai wahaan. To they are, they are very justified. Aap, unke paas, unka jo, unki poetics, Tamil poetics, is definitely different from Sanskrit poetics. And I say in my encyclopedia of poetics which is getting published, I have, I have said it. The India has two poetics, Sanskrit poetics and Tamil poetics. But th this is your wealth. Why do you, why do you feel that everything will Sanskrit ke around revolve karenge, tabhi baat banenge, na? And then, you know, uh, the, since it is all there, you have to, in, if you want to, you Taj Mahal ek dikhate rehte ho. Taj Mahal se far more impressive impressive pieces of architecture actually actually enthralling to see also and of course marvels of engineering and craftsmanship are there in the south in Tamil Nadu in other places so this is the whole shape so I say you do these things so this I thought I say simply saying okay, uh, yes we have so many languages but all languages belong to a family. Konsi family ajkal ki? Joint family ke nuclear family. Hmm? And family, family ka kya matlab hai? Ye, and you cannot deny ke ab hum baat hi nahi karenge Indo-European or Indo-Aryan. Na kyun nahi karenge? Wo fact hai. Haan, aap, you look for a new terminology. Instead of saying Indo-European, say languages of Europe. Indo-Iranian ki jage languages of Iran. Indo-Aryan ki jage languages of India. Usne sari aage. But the division is very much there. Na? Agar aap tathyon ko deny karke and what is common, you have to, I mean, uh, propose that. But this intellectual work will not solve the problem. It will solve it. This is a problem. You have to, you have to truly recognize, integrate. You have to own up. This is the I Guru Granth Sahib ki baat kyon nahi karte? Ek Shankar Fellowship shuru kari thi Madhya Pradesh government ne. Unme unhone nominate kiye log. Nominate. And I was one of the persons nominated. Hmm? There are seven, eight, six, seven. So, कर दिया ठीक है नॉमिनेट कर दिया उसके बाद उन्होंने कहा कि शंकर का द्वैत के ऊपर तो एक मांगा सिनॉप्सिस नॉर्मली व्हेन यू नॉमिनेट पीपल यू डोंट आस्क फॉर उनको समझ ही नहीं है उन्होंने सोचा कि पीएचडी स्कॉलर रिक्रूट कर रहे हैं आई वाज नॉमिनेटेड एज बिरला फाउंडेशन फेलो यू नॉमिनेट पर्सन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर नॉलेज दैट ही इज अ स्कॉलर they did not ask him for a synopsis, na? but they were foolish anyway. They did. And they wanted an associate fellow. Rajneesh ji ko maine associate fellow rakha. Ab mere aur Rajneesh ji ke se jyada scholar, hai na? In chijon ka, ham to akele akele hi kafi hain. Do milke to dunali to bilkul double barrel gun to badi powerful ho jati hai. Ha, double engine ki sarkar ho gayi. But uh, they then reviewed them. Synopsis of all. 
तीन चार ने तो मना कर दिया दो तीन को उन्होंने रिव्यू कराया वो जो रिव्यू जिन्होंने कराया उनका नाम नहीं बताया उनमें देर इज समबडी हु लव्स मी समझ गई ना मतलब ही देर इज समबडी हु डजेंट लाइक मी अच्छा वो जो रिव्यू आया वो जैसे एक एक लाइन लेके ना दिस 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 जैसे बहस बहस करता है कोई दिस दिस सजेशन हैव बीन मेड एंड यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दिस मैंने उनको रजनीश जी बात करके लिख दिया कि वी हैव वी हैव केयरफुली गॉन थ्रू द रिव्यू बाई द लर्नड स्कॉलर we regret that we are not able to agree with the review so we will write only on our terms if acceptable chup baithe hain pehle maine socha main kuch jo jawab do usme ek itni stupid baat likhi hui hai that you see i traced the the core concept of indian thought is the category of brahman brahman vedant ki you know the core concept brahman ki concept core concept aur agar aap agar aap kabhi history of idea india ke likhe to aap kai tarikon se dekh sakte hain par ek ho sakta hai ki aap history of ideas likhe by taking the key concept a concept le i want to write the history of in ideas in india from the point of from the con, on the concept of brahman key to bhai hai na brahman brahma brahma ne brahma brahma so in that advaita i tracked this concept right up to guru gobind singh first also mentioning guru nanak because after a long gap of several hundred years because of the muslim intervention guru nanak rose as a thinker aap samjhiye ramanuja acharya ke baad 11th shatabdi ke baad 16th shatabdi mein guru nanak he ek thinker profound thinker jinhone isi brahman aur vedant वेदांत के ऊपर विचार किया उनका जो जपजी साहब है जपजी साहब इट इज़ अबाउट निर्गुण ब्रह्म निर्गुण और उन्होंने फिर लिखा दखनी ओंकार दखनी ओंकार इस 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 वर्ष कंपोजिशन दोनों दोनों वर्ष हैं जपजी साहब भी वर्ष है बिकॉज लाइक ऋग्वेद विच इज़ इन मैट्रिकल लैंग्वेज गुरु ग्रंथ साहब ऑल्सो इज इन मैट्रिकल लैंग्वेज Uh, that's another story why our uh, intellectual texts dense intellectual texts are metrical why are they metrical hmm? that's uh, because you see meter meter controls the number of words you can use you cannot say however moreover in other words what i was saying hai na so you were as a macleod a, a poet said if you metricalize grief your grief becomes less you know usi tarah when you metricalize so meter mein anyways so guru granth sahib mein metrical verse mein japji sahib jo nirgun brahm after 400 years we have again a major thinker doing primary thinking on brahman This is what I wrote in that synopsis, hmm? and from Guru Nanak to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Nanak used the word "akal" for Brahman. Ek onkar, akal purak, akal timeless. वो मेरा लेक्चर उसके था ना इसीलिए अकाल अकाल मतलब not bound by time. why why did why did he have to 
say it so clearly because uh, kakal as uh, you know as a kind of a descriptive word was occurring in the discussions but why guru nanak used it as a name for brahma akal the timeless one because brahma who is basically defined as one advitya dusra nahi hai prashna upanishad mein hai advitya no second one but then we say tanya mein bhi brahman hai in mein bhi hai in mein bhi hai mere mein bhi hai to ek anek kaise ho gaya so wo uska ek hai ke ye anekta jo hai ye appearance hai pratibhasik hai ye tatvik nahi hai kyunki ye samay ke sath prakat hoti hai time ke sath aur nikal jati hai kaal ki shakti se kaal samay se brahman ek brahman अनेक प्रतिभाषिक रूप लेता है फॉर्म्स लेता है जिस तरह नदी में जो जल है वो लहर बुलबुला और फेन का रूप लेता है पर फिर कोलाप्स कर जाता है जल ही बन जाता है जल या ना उसी तरह वो जो ब्रह्मन है ब्रह्मन इज एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल energy energized matter because in uh, in the in the philosophical systems in the vaisheshika there were 24 tatvas ontological sankhya divides it into two matter and energy prakriti and purusha and then a great mind think says long before contemporary physics that energy and matter are not separate energy is immanent in matter that immanent energy is brahman so the whole therefore brahmand see is very careful the very word for the universe egg shaped brahman ki form so the whole universe is in this system conceived as an elliptical mass of energized matter jaise lava nahi hota energized matter in which forms arise and forms collapse sitare bhi aate bante hain aur toot jate hain aur vyakti bhi janm lete hain aur mrityu ko prapt ho jate hain hai na लेकिन फिजिक्स से ना पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी मतलब एक एनर्जी वहाँ पे होती है यस एंड बिकॉज इट नेवर डाइज ना इट नेवर इट नेवर रियली सीज इज एनर्जी तो काल शक्ति से होता है इसलिए व्हाट इज बियॉन्ड टाइम इज ब्रह्मन एक अद्वितीय सो गुरु नानक यूज द वर्ड एक ओंकार अकाल पुरख नौ अकाल उस अकाल की कॉन्सेप्ट के ऊपर उन्होंने तो मूल मंत्र में एक बार यूज किया बताया निर्गुण ब्रह्म का गुरु गोविंद सिंह रोट ए प्रोलॉन्ग्ड कंपोजिशन अकाल स्तुत अकाल की स्तुति एंड आई सेड दैट इज द लास्ट लर्नेड फिलोसॉफिकल डिस्क्विजिशन on the concept of brahman after that in india no thinker has done it us pe wo likhte hain to end the great vedantic thought in sikh religion hmm? can you imagine something more stupid sikh religion is to exclude all the great people who have written about brahman फ्टर एटीन सेंचुरी नाइनटीन सेंचुरी किसने लिखा कोई है बाबा नानक कोई है गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी इतना किसी का नाम जानते हो आप वी वॉन्टेड टू नो प्रोफेसर कपूर जी दैट यू एस्टैब्लिश द संस्कृत डिपार्टमेंट इन जे एन यू आई यूज टू कंपेयर जे एन यू जे एन यू 
टू नगर वधु यू नो आम्रपाली क्या होता था नगर वधु का द एंटायर सिटी वॉज फैसिनेटेड बाई इट हाँ एंड नॉट एवरीबडी हैड एक्सेस टू हर है ना एंड सो जे एन यू वॉज काइंड ऑफ नगर वधु एंड आई थिंक मे बी पार्टली दैट रीजन एंड देन ऑल्सो यू नो माई फ्रेंड एंड माई टीचर ऑल्सो इन द डिप्लोमा पोस्ट एम ए डिप्लोमा इन डेली यूनिवर्सिटी ही एंड इज वाइफ एट जॉइंट जे एन यू एंड सो ही वॉन्टेड मी टू शिफ्ट फ्रॉम डेली यूनिवर्सिटी टू जे एन यू सो आई वो सिंग दैट आई जॉइंट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू and uh, it was in the context of english language teaching programs which was started in jnu at the behest of government of india in those days that was the time of you know vietnam war and uh, jnu as you know was one of the uh, bengal kerala tripura and jnu these are four homes of marxism hmm? i slipped in you know a non card holder because the interview came late in the evening and being an amritsari i have some vaak chaturya it is not easy to find out where i really belong if i am careful in my speech acha so, you slid through the interview uh, so hmm. nikal gaye join kiya un dino mein government of india used to send uh, you know people like we had a group of in fact the first batch was group of 15 vietnamese boys very bright they had chosen carefully they wanted to train them to become diplomats vietnam was at war with and in jnu every night you know there used to be you know candlelight processions it is the home of the candlelight na and mera naam tera naam vietnam vietnam bola so the 15 boys came they knew no english not even an not even abc and uh, <coughs> i i joined for some reason Uh, may that's why perhaps i went into linguistics also in in delhi university i mean i joined diploma from my childhood i was very fond of grammar and that's because of my teacher brahmanand ji you know and the day i mentioned brahmanand ji here you know the other day when we were framing some questions for the nta national testing agency and we were reviewing questions there was a you know collocation some uh, a a something a let's say a hermeneutics lam we were then we was a online meeting review i raised my hand and i said brahmanand ji said that we cannot use a before a collective or a non material noun so they all wondered who is the, who was this brahman i said brahmanand ji was pre chomsky chomsky <laughs> pre chomsky chomsky he taught us grammar you know and i became so fond of grammar like they, they because basically in our education also you will remember sir in our basic education from day one we used to be taught two things vyakaran or arithmetic ginti or vyakaran hai na ye ab you know in 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 grammar 
you have to you know correlate things correlate establish relationships and change the forms modulate things according to that you know it's a it's a cognitive ability and in arithmetic also you you measure you, know, you multiply you divide and you know you sort of so the two things are training of the mind and in india education basically they taught grammar and arithmetic for 2 3 years bacche ka dimag tez karne ke liye aaj kal social science padhate hain so they become you know conflict oriented people patthar phenkne wale now new skills are needed na ye bhi ko skill since we have started talking of skill education to patthar maarna bhi to skill hai na iske bhi to sikhana padega kyun sir पत्थर मारना भी तो स्किल है सब कोई थोड़ा मार सकते हैं पत्थर सो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ स्किल्ड पीपल एनी वेज आई वॉज गिवन द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे केम फॉर टू ईयर्स टू टेक चार्ज ऑफ दीज वियटनमीज बॉयज एंड आई वॉज आस्ट अलाउड बाई द यूनिवर्सिटी टू इन्वाइट वन मोर टीचर from delhi university college some person i know who is who can teach language he will be uh, taken as temporary but then he will be made permanent and my friend harish chandra narang hc narang who was my friend from mutiba he joined and then we were asked to take one more and we took sarin saab professor sarin uh, sarin saab is both of them are still there they are they are younger to me by gap of about 3 4 years you see so i think narang saab is 78 and sarin saab is 73 74 like that hmm? we have all grown up drinking together hmm? Hmm? we have grown old and drinking together <laughs> so like that so we i was the uh, i was the regular teacher so at that time permanent so i was i was senior also to them they were younger friends so i was made given the charge so i thought how to teach language now this is also very interesting if you have been have some experience of language teaching since the uh, the uh, ford foundation may wo kya pl480 program do you remember pl480 anyone that is you know in uh, when uh, when i in the 60 in, uh, in the war shastri ji was the prime minister and you know america refused to give us wheat we were in those days we used to borrow food we, we didn't have enough food so pl480 program was america will give us wheat the cost of the wheat in rupees will be retained in india a separate account with which the money with which america usa will send bright young indian scholars to usa universities in different disciplines for studies they will select teachers this is american imperialism now matlab wheat ke badle scholars wa so nahi hum unko nahi us paise se bhejenge aur unke full bright fellowship hai और हाफ ब्राइट लोग सिलेक्ट किए जाते थे <laughs> जितने हाफ ब्राइट थे दे ऑल वेंट ऑन फुल ब्राइट अच्छा वी वर ऑल यंग इन दोज डेज दिस इज समथिंग अबाउट यू नो सिक्सटी सेवन सिक्सटी एट सिक्स नाइन एंड देर वॉज ए ग्रुप ऑफ अबाउट बिकॉज इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स देर वॉज ए रिफ्रेश कोर्स इन इंग्लिश फॉर टीचर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश this is where the english language imperialism began 
ELT, English language teaching, became a big dhanda. Because colonies to nikal gayi India. Paisa gaya. Ab paisa kaise banega? ELT became an industry. You know, two or three prakaki. Every year they will revise the book. A new book will come and people will buy. And then the books became complex. There is a basic book, then there is a teacher's book, then there is a student's book. Hmm? And then technology. First, you know, they come with the cassettes, cassettes, the floppy disks. Hmm? Uh, never covet thy neighbor's floppy. Bible kati na? <laughs> covet not thy neighbor's <laughs> floppy. <laughs> floppy. In those days, floppy was very precious, you know. Then the cassettes, then the tapes, then the CDs, then DVDs. So every year, by the time you got used to a technology, they'll come up with a new technology. And integrated programs, book, teacher book, student book, and a DVD or a CD or a cassette DVD or a spool costing other 5,000 rupees, 10, 7,000 rupees. So this became a great industry, ELT. To support this, support this, they came up with theories of language teaching. Theories, many theories. For example, uh, uh, pattern practice, pa practice, uh, pa practice method, the structural method, communication model, communication model, cognitive. functional model, mm -hmm. uh, cognitive. cognitive model. And they will keep changing the model also. So by the time the teacher started, accordingly the new books came. So new books were sold. And Indian, Indian universities became, became uh, godowns, godowns of uh, outdated technologies. Puri cassette padi hai, phir puri DVD padi hai, phir ye padi hai, phir digital, phir computer a gaya, phir unne language laboratory bana di. Huh? Language laboratory was beautifully defined by one of our uh, Irish teachers. Irish people have a sense of humor, na? Professor Michael Dobbin, who had some hand in my marriage also, getting married also. How he defined language, you know what is a language laboratory? Language laboratory, mein, there is a, a booths bane hote hai. Shuru shuru mein to wo hote the, mother spool recorders hote the, tape tape recorders. और एक मास्टर कंसोल होता था उसमें एक टीचर बैठता था और टीचर का उनसे इंटरेक्शन होता था स्टूडेंट्स कैन नॉट इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर बट एवरी स्टूडेंट कैन डायरेक्टली इंटरेक्ट एंड दे विल डू देयर उनके सामने स्क्रीन है दे विल डू द प्रैक्टिस एवरीबॉडी इज वर्किंग एंड द टीचर कैन लिसन टू एनीवन लिसन इन टू एनीवन द द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ग्रेजुएट प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्लेसिंग द टीचर बाय अ मशीन अल्टीमेटली and you know, okay, guru tha pehle guru, phir guru desi bhasha mein bhi guru ka matlab kuch aur ho gaya, ke jara bach ke rehna bada guru hai, hai na, guru hai, to guru pehle wo guru hua, phir guru ki jage teacher hua, ab teacher phir facilitator, facilitator ho gaya, ab wo beta wo dekh kar rehna sakla, so technology badalti rhi, school ke baad phir aage, phir computer aage beech mein, ab to aaj ka to computer lage hoote hai saare, so Michael Dobbin defined a language laboratory, a room full of tape recorders where students practice their mistakes. <laughs> practice their mistakes. And that was my fond definition. I always used, I was always, although you know, as dean of the School of Languages in JNU, I had to set up the first language laboratory there. It was a gift. Our Russians ne gift di. Our Lagani hai. Our Russians ne gift di. To our JNU to Amrapali hai. To phir French ne gift di. Phir Germans ne gift di. Or phir we had a whole language laboratory complex. Only in JNU or other universities? Nahi nahi. Jala JNU ka. 
मेनली जे एन यू जे एन यू दूसरों को कम नहीं है अम्रपाली ज्यादा कंड्यूसर है भाई इंटरनेशनल नेम फेम तो इसी का ही चलता है ना बाकी तो दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी बिकेम ए ए मिडीवल यूनिवर्सिटी यू डोंट प्लीज ऑक्सफोर्ड एंड कैम्ब्रिज विल नेवर हैव लैंग्वेज लेबोरेटरीज यू नो दे विल ओनली हैव बुक्स डब्लिन विल हैव नो लैंग्वेज लेबोरेटरी ओनली बुक्स दे वोंट हैव दीज विजुअल्स एंड ऑल दैट दे विल हैव रीडर्स पीपल हु रीड है ना एंड नॉट दोज हु लिसन है लगा हाउ इंग्लिश इज स्पोकन so they know so but but manchester leeds the red brick universities they will have language laboratories because their indians go indians rarely find entrance to the other universities and they when they do that they do for particular you know particular areas but not generally they want that so you had to set this up in jnu you were the first yeah you see my but then later no why am i we are starting from 1972 when we had the vietnamese students and we have to design english language teaching program now i was aware of all these things that i am telling you by that time because by 72 71 all the half bright people had left there were those who had taken the 66 66 refresher course huh? 66 वो इट वॉज ऑल ओवर इंडिया तो मैं ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू तो दिल्ली से ही थे उनमें से मी एंड मिसिस कपूर हु वॉज नॉट मिसिस कपूर देन आई मीन दे वर टू टू ऑफ अस वर ऑल्सो देयर एंड देन यू नो वी वर मिस्टर मिसिस कपूर बाय दैट टाइम अदर ट्वेंटी एट लेफ्ट ओनली टू ऑफ अस वर एंड ए प्रोफेसर केम एडमसन आई रिमेंबर अमेरिकन सो ही कॉल्ड अ मीटिंग ऑफ इंग्लिश टीचर्स ही केम द डिपार्टमेंट एंड मी एंड मिसिस कपूर ऑल सिटी ही सर वेर आर दी अदर्स I said they were all half brights. <laughs> He said, "What do you mean?" I said, "They've been given full bright fellowships. <laughs> they have all gone." So they, he said, "Why didn't you go? Huh? Why didn't you go?" He said, "Because we didn't want to go, and we are not half bright. <laughs> so we didn't want to go." So this now this background, what is the, seriously speaking? technology depending on technology in language teaching relegating the teacher teacher secondly teaching language by not teaching grammar grammar was excluded in all these methods main thing is practice you know pattern practice i am a fool am i a fool i am a fool am i a fool i am not a fool am i not a fool you repeat karte ho because language is there are two theories ek to skinner ki hai na language is a habit the dusra is what you said language is cognition we indians believe language is cognition but the americans believe language is a habit so wo habit ki theories hai so their basic principles of elt were never teach grammar number 2 don't use the mother tongue of the student in teaching english pure english only english teach only through english you see you understand this these are strategies they are strategies and uh, the materials also should be only english not even translations from india na good english modern excellent english oh to some extent that justified but not for this reason not for this jaise for example radha krishnan ka hai angrezi that you can always get but mostly what people started doing was khud hi baith ke third rate angrezi mein ek para likha aur usko rakh diya you see as text wo nahi but these things this is one but in my in my tradition and i belong to the grammarians i mean intellectually my intellectually ni matlab ke my belief jo hai main vyakaran parampara ka hu jo india mein three contending schools of thought hain three 
पुराने जमाने से वेदांती वेदांत वेदांतिंस या ब्रह्मन संप्रदाय उसे कहते हैं ब्रह्मन 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 बौद्ध और जैन दीज आर थ्री संप्रदाय दीज आर थ्री वेज ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड दे हैव बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली इन वॉट यू कॉल कोलेबोरेटिव कॉन्फ्रंटेशन कोलेबोरेटिव कॉन्फ्रंटेशन यू डन टॉक ऑल्सो ऑन दिस टॉक आपने दिया है ना थ्री संप्रदाय सो कोलेबोरेटिव कॉन्फ्रंटेशन में है तो इसमें जो वेदांतिन है दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वैया करना ग्रामेरियंस एंड भर्तरी हरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो आई बिलोंग टू दिन नो इन आवर आवर थेरी ऑफ लैंग्वेज टीचिंग एंड दोर टेक्स्ट इज पतंजलिज महाभाष्य उसका जो पहला आहनिक है आहनिक आहनिक वो आनिक उसका उसको जो पहला आनिक है वो प्रथम प्रथम आनिक इट इज़ अबाउट वॉट इज ग्रामर वॉट इज ग्रामर इट इज़ अबाउट वॉट इज ग्रामर और उसका पूरा इट्स अ वंडरफुल आई मीन समे मे बी देर शुड बी ए होल लेक्चर ओनली ऑन दैट ऑन दैट चैप्टर ग्रामर क्या है वॉट इज इट शब्द अनुशासन शब्दों का डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन ऑफ शब्द नौ शब्द द शब्द शब्द हैज फोर कॉनोटेशंस शब्द मीन्स साउंड पुराने जमाने में कहते थे कुछ शोर ना मचाओ को शोर शब्द शब्द से है शब्दम ना कुरु शोर ना मचाओ यू कैन से दैट टू मी शब्दम ना कुरु एंड शब्द मीन्स साउंड शब्द मीन्स वर्ड एंड शब्द ऑल्सो मीन्स एक होल कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन विच कैन बी ए वाक्य और ए वचन अ स्टेटमेंट और ए सेंटेंस देर इज ए डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टेटमेंट एंड सेंटेंस ए सेंटेंस नीड नॉट बी ऑलवेज ट्रू बट ए स्टेटमेंट यू कैन आस्क वेदर इट इज ट्रू और नॉट The king of France is bald. Now this is a sentence. It's fine, but there is no king of France, so it's an incorrect, untruthful statement because there is no king. So this question of being bald and all that doesn't arise. Hmm? So in our thinking, as I said, Patanjali is Mahabhasya ka prathma ani ka. Vyakaran grammar. is the most suksham method of learning a language wo kehte ke bhasha itni vistrit hai language is such a large universe every day new words are being coined every day new combinations of words are coming sentences if you start teaching sentence by sentence so there is a there is a narrative there then indra jaisa student disciple aur brihaspati jaisa guru 1000 saal beet jayenge but you will not reach the end of language if you teach it by sentence by sentence hmm? to kya karna chahiye says ke hame ek एक शास्त्र बनाना चाहिए वो शास्त्र वो वो शास्त्र क्या होगा विधि और निषेध ऐसे ऐसे बोलना है ऐसे नहीं बोलना है विधि और निषेध और वो लाघव लघु होगा छोटा शास्त्र बनेगा उस शास्त्र को जो व्याकरण है व्याकरण कहते हैं तो वो व्याकरण क्या है व्याकरण में व्याकरण लक्षण शास्त्र है लक्षण उसमें जो ईच प्रिंसिपल या रूल जो होता है 
it is only a indicator it points to a whole universe for example subject agrees with the verb one rule but a hundred thousand sentences ko ye apply karta hai so ye sanket hai so the shastra vyakaran jo hai lakshan shastra hai to lakshan ka lakshya kya hai lakshan is the marker what is the object of this marking the object is language <coughs> so एंड यही सूक्ष्म है क्योंकि अगर आप वैसे पढ़ाओगे तो यू कैन इवन ए ब्रिलियंट स्टूडेंट लाइक दिस इंद्र एंड ए गुरु लाइक बृहस्पति यू वॉन्ट इज सो व्याकरण पढ़ाना चाहिए नो दिस वॉज इन माई माइंड सो वेन आई वॉज गिवन द चार्ज आई डिसाइडेड कॉन्ट्ररी टू दी प्रैक्टिस एट दैट टाइम विच वॉज पॉपुलर ऑल ओवर इंडिया ई एल टी that we will teach english by the by grammar grammar and rigorously frame the course and abc se shuru karke shabdon ka bhi vyakaran hota hai words ka bhi words ka bhi vyakaran hai jaise you cannot have an english word which begins with ka and then is followed by ta they cannot be they can be other two consonants you know but this cannot be possible this is not possible. something nished hai ye ye vidhi nahi hai so grammar se humne grammar ko base bana ke aur grammar bhi spoken language ki hai 